What's going on guys, Zach the College Worker, and today we're gonna to be doing a little how-to video on how to set up this lone wolf sit and climb tree stand. I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it. This thing is awesome, it's about 350 bucks on uh, the lone wolf's um, website. It weighs about 14 pounds, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to assemble it real quick. And the awesome thing is it's made in the USA, which is awesome. Okay, so when you get the uh, tree stand, it's gonna go ahead and come like this. You're gonna have this little bungee strap. You're gonna open it up once you're in the woods. You're gonna hang on to this because you're gonna need that once you're uh, once you're leaving again. Put that to the side. You want to unbuckle these straps. And there's two different parts. You got the top part which you're gonna sit on. Just flip that guy around. Put him to the side. And then this one. You got your straps. You want to put those to the side, just like that. Undo these. Go ahead and lift them up until they're set in place. You want to tighten them down. Sometimes it's kind of hard catching the thread, but you'll eventually get it. Mm -hmm. Flip it over. It's okay just having these backpack straps hanging out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the bottom part first. You're gonna unlock it just like that. So now that you found the uh, tree that you're going to use, you're going to use about a uh, 8 to 12 inch tree in diameter. You're going to put the bottom on first. You're going to put the strap all the way around, just like this. You want to kind of lean it up a little bit higher, just like that. Put it in, and then you're going to lock this strap right here. And that should be good. These teeth down here will kind of dig into the tree once you're climbing up it. Put these straps to the side, and then we're going to put the uh, top on. Okay, now that we have the bottom all done, we're gonna put the seat, wrap it around, thread it through the other side. And it's just like the bottom. We're gonna hit that button to lock it in. You gotta tighten it a little bit more. This one you wanna have up as an angle a little bit too. Because once you go up the tree, it's gonna get a little bit smaller. And it'll start leveling out once you get up there. You can always fix it once you get up to the tree. Dig that in. And with these buckles, you want to undo them all the way. Buckle them in on each side. And the purpose of these buckles is if you're climbing up the tree and you lose your uh, footing, you won't lose the whole tree stand so you can get down. Yeah. All right, guys, so now that we got the base all done, we're standing on the base and it's supporting my weight pretty good. We have the straps loosened up just like I was talking about earlier. We got the seat all down, the teeth are locked in. Uh, to actually climb the tree, all you do is Push this down. You want to bring it up just like that. Make sure the teeth are locked into the tree. And you're going to want to put your whole body weight on there. While you're doing that, you're going to put your feet in these little grooves right here. They're designed for you to kind of let it go like this. You're going to pull up just like this, put your weight on it, and then bring the seat up just like that. And it's just a complete motion going up as high as you want in the tree, just like this. Now I'm not gonna go up too high because I don't have a tree harness on. I always recommend wearing one because that's the number one accident uh, that kills hunters every year. So once you get to the top of the tree or wherever you need to be, you're gonna kind of adjust the seat. You're gonna pull these straps nice and tight. And what that does is it keeps the, uh, the teeth locked into the tree so that it doesn't move when you're uh, sitting up here. Go ahead and lock this side in nice and tight. And uh, I'm pretty much up in here. Uh, it keeps the, um, the base locked into the tree as well. And I can put my whole weight on it, and we're good to go. And I could just sit on here just like that, kind of scared to do it. But uh, once you're up here, you have a pretty good view of shooting your bow or your gun, whatever season it is for deer. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it takes to uh, climb up a tree in the lone wolf uh, sit and climb. Uh, if you guys like this video, press like. If you guys found it helpful, subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to post videos every week, hopefully. Um, and if you guys have a comment or anything like that, put them in the uh, comment box down below. Thanks for watching, guys.